been uh, I did two gigs in Chicago and different places in north and south and uh, and also in Lafayette, uh, Indiana. Now you know I was playing uh, quite a lot more people there, but let me tell you, this is the best sound system out of all of this place. And Pete knows what he's doing. Really, this place rocks. It really does. Plus it's Detroit, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay. And what is this, uh, Chrysler and Fiat, is that right? Yes. Ooh, I can't the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the two combinations. Uh, Fiat's, are they still like making those boxes, like little boxes, metal boxes? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed when I heard that. That's right. Anyway, here's a song. Came out on a record of mine called Live Alone in America. Yeah. Hell right. So, um, and uh, it's a song that was never on any other album. I, I wrote it just before and did it on the road, and that's how it uh, appeared. And I had this weird dream. It, well, I think it's a dream now because nobody can uh, co corroborate. I think that I was on Arsenio Hall show. But no, you know, this, no, really that bloke. Nobody, nobody said, yeah, we saw you, man. I mean, David Letterman, I've been on there like seven or eight times. I know that's real, I've seen the clips. And they're on, some of them on YouTube. I've been on uh, Jay Leno, on uh, Conan O'Brien, you know, which is like anybody can get on there, you know. And, uh, but but I, I have a memory of being on Arsenio Hall. Nobody else, maybe it's a fantasy, I just made it up. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> Someone reaches the Kathy Lee, yes. Somebody saw me on Arsenio? No. Reaches the Kathy Lee? Yeah, I know that. I know that's real. I know that's real. Uh, but <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. They were very good. They gave me a lot of time. They gave me a lot of time. And, and they played all those clips from videos and all these royals kept coming in. Because they played about six clips from, from my videos, you know, and so uh, uh, unbelievable. They, they did me very good. It wasn't a swimming pool, but it was, you know, <laughs> the, the brushes to clean the pool, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I think I did Arsenio Hall, but now I'm getting to doubt it, because no, nobody said, yeah, we, I saw you, I said, nobody. So I wanted to do this next song, but they said no, the producer said no, understandably. It has the N-word in it. Oh, oh. I know, I'm not proud of it, it's, you know, there it was, but I uh, sang it in a, and you could sing this stuff in an ironic way, a post-ironic kind of uh, sense, you know, sarcastic way, it's okay, you know, people were more intelligent then, people got less and less intelligent, you know. <laughs> so, uh, it's a bit scratched up, so, so yeah. Um, so, I didn't do it because the producers of the show said, no, we can't have that on the network. But I went, I did a song about an abortion instead, which they didn't seem to care about. They didn't, because they're too stupid to know that that's what the song was about, you know, probably. <laughs> anyway, my, in my fantasy world, Arsenio came up to me and said, I really wanted you to do that other song, man. You know, I'm sorry, it's the network, you know. I said, well, okay, I thought that was pretty cool of him, in my fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I really think I'm...